the desire to grow. Welcome to the show. Podcast link in the description or the bio above. Okay. So the biggest tip I would give anyone is to know yourself. Mm-hmm. And I know that that sounds a bit strange. So I'm going to break it down. So I would say know yourself on kind of uh, in a professional work technical way and then also know yourself in an emotional way so let's start with the first one which is know yourself in the professional context um uh so what i mean by that is figure out what time of day do i do my best work what time of day do i do my best creative work if creativity is part of your your job What time of day am I best in meetings? Like some people are not good in meetings in the morning because they're, you know, not a morning person. Some people by the afternoon, it's like after lunch and they're half asleep, you know, and it's like not a good time to be sitting down with them or whatever. So I would say, ask yourself all of these uh, types of things, you know, when I have something that's really hard and I don't know how to go about it, like, do I do that best? listening to music, um, maybe at home, you know, lighting a candle or whatever, like find out how you work best. How do you best organize yourself? Because it's so different for everybody. Um, And if you can know that about yourself, it'll really help you get through, you know, the times where you have deadlines or the times where your boss or whoever is not happy with your deliverable and wants you to redo it. Like it'll really help you to get through that. If you know, uh, when, when you thrive. Um, and I would say know your strengths and know your weaknesses, particularly if you want to be an entrepreneur. And why I say that is because, you know, hopefully you'll get great amounts of funding or your business will be profitable from day one or whatever, but you'll be able to hire people. And as soon as you're able to hire people, you should be hiring people who have your weaknesses, basically. And so if you're really, really good at sales or you're really, really good at like doing all the creative stuff, or you're really good at the operations, then don't hire someone for that. You know, you're going to want to hire someone else to do what you can't do. And so again, knowing yourself in that kind of technical way will really, really be helpful. And don't have shame about it, you know, Um, Mm -hmm. because sometimes it's like embarrassing to be like, I studied accounting, but like, I actually really like the marketing part better. You know, and I've, I've hired accountants who, who have had that happen. And that's okay. You know, it, it, you just accept that about yourself and then say, I'm going to hire an accountant when I can. Yeah. Um, and then know yourself from an emotional perspective. Mm-hmm. So from, from that, what I mean is I, I would ask myself a few questions. You know, number one is what makes me happy? Okay. And I'm not talking about like, um, oh, it'll make me happy if I accomplish this. No. Today, right now, what makes you happy? We all have very little things that make us happy. You know, for some of us, like for myself, for example, it's like I love certain types of music and it just makes me happy. Or I love being in my car and listening to music and dancing. I love dancing. Um, I love coffee and tea. Like the act of making tea is just it's something that I enjoy so much and it's just like a small um, pleasure you know that feeling I get after I work out and why do I say this is so important is because you're gonna have these ups and downs you're gonna have shitty shitty days you're gonna have shitty weeks and knowing what to give yourself kind of as a happy pill is gonna really really change the game for you because you're gonna be able to get yourself out of that a bad mood or that disappointment by saying, you know what, I need to make myself feel good right now. So what am I going to do to make myself feel good? Um, I would also ask myself, how do I process disappointment or how do I process bad news or failure? Okay, so I think people process it in different ways. For myself, you know, I need I'll, I'll sort of like sit through it and be like, okay, okay. And then I need time to myself when I'm at home or in my car to think things through. And then I can come back with a solution or feedback or whatever. Other people, it's like instantaneous. Other people, they need to cry. They need to yell. They need to go for a run and get it out of their system or whatever. So figure out what you need to do so that when you are met with disappointment, when you are met with failure, you know what's the path 
to get me back to where I need to be. Um, and then the last thing I would say is be curious and try to learn as much as possible from everywhere. Yeah. You know, um, so whether that's like podcasts, books, audio books, or even if it's like sitting down with your parents about what they do, you know, and asking them about what they do or taking an interest in, you know, when they're, when you're dropping them off to work or they're on their way to work, like asking them what they do, like just having a curiosity because, you know, I'll tell you from personal experience, I never thought I would be farming insects. I never thought I would be processing insects. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I would be selling food products. And that's what I do now. And so, um, you know, there's probably so many things I could have learned before I had to learn them mm -hmm. had I had more of a curiosity about just everything and about how things are made. Um, so, yeah, I would say I would say that as well. Thank you for listening to this short clip. The full podcast episode will be available next week. If you enjoy what you hear and you're looking forward to more videos, feel free to drop a comment on what type of videos or questions you want me to ask my next guests. You can also show your support by liking the video and subscribing. See you all next time.